What's up YouTube? We are back to daily vlogs. I got a new lens and I'm bringing you guys exclusive information. It's Taco Tuesday, which means the boys got a bunch of tacos. How many tacos we got there? I don't even know. A lot. With the onions and peppers. Let's get a little sneak peek here. This is how we're starting off the vlog today. Oh. Oh. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. So yeah, welcome to the welcome to the, the, the day. And uh yeah, got a lot to talk about today. But I'm gonna eat some tacos first. So see you in a little bit. Okay, so I done gave Charles the best straight razor head shave of his life. Lined up his beards with the beard of the trimmers, trimmed him under the neck. Now it's time to do a little airbrush work. Now it's time to talk about my airbrush. This is the airbrush that I bought off of Amazon. It's like 28 bucks. 28 bucks, a lot better than the one that came with my compressor. My compressor sitting right there. This threaded right into it. Um, I'll leave a link below of what, where you can get it at. Um, let me set this camera down and I'll explain a little bit more about it. Yeah. Okay, so this spray pattern is controlled by this dial back here. So I can control this dial. I can control, I can open, or close it to allow more, more color or less color to come out. Yeah, you know what, the kid is got it. So I usually use a paper towel for this. I guess Zule used to cut this kid out in Happy Valley. Oh yeah? You can see that it puts out a nice, even, yeah, soft pattern. He's got, he's got the baby now, and so they've been doing that. It's backlit over there like that. Let me throw it out there. So you guys can see. It puts out a nice, even spray pattern. So now when we come to Charles' beard. Now we already did it. <laughs> so that's just filling in his beard. And then we're gonna do the line up top. So this is before. No. So first things first, I'm gonna take an old business card and I'm gonna look at the shape that I wanna create on his beard. And I'm gonna take some old scissors and cut myself a nice little guide. Now I'm gonna swap lenses because I bought a 50 mil that's gonna crop this in perfectly. So let's swap lenses. I'm gonna get close, and I'll show you guys how to airbrush, line it up, and all that stuff. Okay, so that looks so much freaking better. Yeah, it's funny. Okay, so. We're gonna take our spray gun and our guard. We're gonna line them up. Now, because we have a 50% mixture with alcohol, I can brush this in to make it look a little softer. Don't drink, don't smoke, don't diet, work out. Take our straight razor. They're like, what about our pill? Same thing with like facial hair. They're uh, head hair, facial hair. They're like, what can I do <laughs> to make it darker? Just like, embrace your age, man. I love it. Line up his beard. One step closer to the Right? That's how you add the color on there. Yeah, actually, we're gonna leave it. Uh, we're gonna leave the close lens on. There you go. Like short beard, long stash. That Show you another way of doing it. How's the lady? Same guard. I had a shit since I stopped you the last time. How do you do Put the color in. Yeah. Come on. Somebody's got to keep us in the same way. Like, should we just say somebody's got to Yeah. And then. Yeah. Restarted. And then. 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 Restarted
I'm just gonna give you a finished look of this. Uh, no worries. Okay. So, we're gonna go next door and play the new VR hologram game at Wonderland. Me and Jesse just showed up. So me, Jesse, and Taco are gonna go over there and play real quick. We'll see how it goes. But uh, I'm gonna clean my station first and then we're gonna go over there. So this guy showed up because his hair looks like shit. That's the only time he comes and sees me is when his hair is whack. Yep. So we're gonna go to Wonderland, Taco, myself, and Jesse. We're gonna go to Wonderland and play this 3D holograph game, virtual reality. I change your life, Jesse. That's what's not gonna happen, Taco. <laughs> Let's see if they uh, trip about me filming in here. We wanna play the hologram game. Okay, is it just three of you? Okay. So the next game I can get for three of you is at 3.30. 15, 15 minutes? Yep. Let me check my, uh, my palm pilot. Go, let's go. Yeah. Yeah, 3.30. Let's do it. Um, Okay, I guess we're gonna kick it until then. Okay. I'll okay. pay for it now though if we can. Okay, so it's eleven twenty-five is your total for three VRs. This? Yeah. Not mine. Disrespect. Hey. All right. It, it's getting there. All right, here we go. So this is the game we're gonna play, Taco. This right here. Hollow Gate. Okay, Jesse. So how it works is you put on the headset, you put on the earphones. You pick up the gun, you play one of two games. There's a penguin shootout and there's the tower game. The tower game is one with one. So how it works is it's like full, it's like full VR. So you duck, move, everything is registered in the game. And you're playing against each other, so you're trying to conquer each other's towers. And you can like teleport to different towers to like get a different It's sick. So these two clowns are going to get beat. But uh, I'm going to try to find a place where I can set my camera up and vlog while we play. I don't know where, where I'm going to do it at, but we're going to try to find a spot. So maybe I'll pay one of these kids to do it or something. Who knows? We'll see what happens. I'll, uh, we'll let you guys know when we're about to play the game. Look at these guys. They're into it. I, I shouldn't be yelling the game affiliation. That's right. So. just came up to me and told me not to film her kids, so I won't film anything else until we get to play, so. so. Orange won the game. Me and, me and Jesse won the game. Now we gotta get back to the now we gotta be, get back to the shop. Huh? You guys were blue. We were orange. <laughs> so orange team won. I don't know where you can see that at, but orange. Orange. Orange is all around. Orange team won. Good playing, good playing with you. I'll see you later. I'm gonna cut Jesse's hair now. The lady at Wonderland is gone, so I can film again. We're gonna cut Jesse's hair. He wants to keep it long on top. Then we're gonna do a nice clean fade on the side. He got a little interview thing tomorrow, so we're gonna make him look super thing. Okay, end of the night. Cleaning up. Short, short vlog. I apologize. Um, however, I do want to touch on a subject that just happened to me, um, and, I, and I know a lot of barbers out there do it, and it drives me nuts, and it irritates me that I just did the same thing. <sighs> um, I gave away a service just now, 
because it's a guy I've been cutting for years. Um, he came in, had to shave his beard off for a job that he's starting on Thursday. It's Tuesday now. Um, had to shave his beard off, and so normally he gets a five up top, short fro, tapers on the sides, taper in the back. Normally that's what he gets. Um, and the thing that I'm talking about is is barbers giving their clients what they think would look good versus what the what their client asked for. And I made that mistake tonight. Um, it's a big thing for me. I, I've always been the barber that will tailor what you want on your haircut the way that you want it to look, all that stuff. Today, about five minutes ago, for some weird reason, I just gave him like a low bald fade. I mean, it, it, don't get me wrong, it still came out clean, you know, what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, but like, it just wasn't what he wanted, and I could tell that he was a little frustrated, and he still tried to pay me, and he's my boy, so he was like, bro, I can't not pay you, you still did the work, da 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 And I don't know why it just bugged me, but I feel, I feel like, I felt like I should talk to you guys about it. Don't, don't just assume you know what the customer wants. Listen to what they say and do what they ask for. Now you can give them advice and say, hey, you know, uh, you know, I think it would look a, look a little better if we brought the taper up higher or, you know what I'm saying, like tweak it a little bit, but explain to them why you're doing it and, you know, why it would benefit them. Don't just do something. You know, don't just, don't just bring, like if he asks for a low taper, don't just give him a mid taper. Like, just, oh man, I thought it would look tighter. Don't do that. And I just did that tonight, and it bugs the hell out of me. But, uh, damn, that shit really, like, got me. I was, like, irritated the whole set. Like, he turned and seen it and was like, yo, what are you doing, bro? And that just, it, like, hit me like a, like a ton of bricks. I'm like, damn. I didn't even give this fool what he asked for. Like, I just went rogue on his haircut. So, with that being said, pay attention to your clients. Give them the service they asked for. We all make mistakes. I get it. Um, this is the first time I've ever done this, um, given somebody they, something they didn't want, which is crazy. I mean, I've given people haircuts that they wanted that just didn't look as good as they wanted them to look. I've done that for sure. But for me to blatantly just ignore what my customer said and to give him something, t something totally different, I don't know what I was thinking, yo, but... <sighs> On a more positive note... I got a 50 millimeter lens now, and I have a new 16 to 50, 50 millimeter lens, which is bueno. So we have a vlogging lens back, and now I have a portrait lens to take good Instagram photos with, uh, which I'll walk you guys through how to take better photos with a 50 mil and stuff like that. So, yeah, this is the end of the vlog. I'm rambling right now, but uh, we're back to daily vlogs. I got the lens back. We're good. Anyways, see you guys tomorrow. Peace.